Hello everybody, here is the German other house and the next week many cool and new cars. If you not subscribe to our channel, do it. You find many cool things, many tricks. And here is the Lamborghini. We still we continue work on this car. We have a brake issue. Um, waiting for brake caliper. That Ferrari, what we showed last week is still waiting we like need to finish few wiring things with the rear uh, brake light super legera let's say pre lp super legera pre lp uh, waiting for clutch custom clutch coming really soon uh, white white uh, 570 today get new seat module it's went bad i don't know it's no communication and the passenger seat didn't work and here is the one more cool car this is race Ferrari came from Japan uh, sit a little bit <laughs> in Canada waiting to approve and passing US border and now actually 25 year old and that car at our place uh, let's pop the hood first. This is how his car looks inside. Individual throttle body. If you remember, guys, we work on one uh, Ferrari 456. You can you see the manifold? This way, that way. So many different same engine and why is that car here you can talk a lot on, about this car but this car actually for custom exhaust because the car has just a side pipe and it's ridiculously loud yeah and you can you can see that nothing <laughs> we need to install the passenger seat uh, because it's like back in the future the little window. Toot, toot. No, this little little window only for one reason. And you can't. Oh, you can put a soda through it. But yeah, but this is only for one reason. Uh, no air condition, no ventilation system inside. And uh, we need to do. I don't know. I, I forgot how is the call. Like a velocity over there to the mm. uh, sucked more uh, air inside because too hot. Too hot. If just a seat. You, because nothing guys no and nothing it's empty yeah it's literally <laughs> yeah and we need to wire the new fuel gauge and of course uh, the custom 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 uh, exhaust system because we want to save this side pipe but we want to do the valvatronic system and of course that all system is going to be titanium all the way long and we do the quad exhaust quad tips with a muffler because it's uncomfortable to drive and you easy get a ticket and tow your car to <laughs> tow in place well you can see that is really nice beautiful build from japan and it's run 100 octane we'll see what we want to do or we just uh, detune a little bit for pump gas and keep the one map for uh, race gas and wa warm up for pump gas because now you can drive on a road because just a one tune and yeah we'll see we'll see what we what we can do but this is little bit project for us it's re really interesting how we can make the exhaust but it should be gonna be good show the out oh, and that system it's all standalone motor. You can see the gauges, the race dash, and this is it's a really big battery on a passenger seat. <laughs> Plexiglass.
you working on? Ooh. Yeah, I'm working on AMG. Twin turbo. Uh, maybe you remember guys, we done like the service. But today we do service again before that car came for tune. The next week, I believe, mm -hmm. uh, we do the engine, uh, T ECU, TCU and CPC module tune. But today we just uh, work on spark plugs replacement. And this is really important things. Mm. Let me show you what I'm doing. Just like I installed the new spark plugs. And guys, of course, everybody have to use torque wrench. Torque wrench set on for 23 newtons. Now the spark plugs it's tied properly. Uh, At the proper back, angle. Go. Proper angle. Here is the spark plugs. They have a like a compression washer. It's not crush washer anymore. It's a this is a Mercedes and this is NGK spark plugs. And let me show you. Let me open my phone. I just I want to quick show you what's going on if you ins yeah, if you use not proper spark plugs. Here is the angle. Here is the not right angle. And this is what is possible to happen. And incorrect spark plugs causes the major engine damage. Melted piston to lead the complete engine replacement. This is not a warrantable defect. And this is TBS from Mercedes, directly from Mercedes. It's a spark plugs index for direct injection engine. It's really important use original spark plugs because they try the electrode, try the proper way and proper angle. Well, today I work on GTR, Ilya play with the Bentley, the service and front and rear brake, he do some stuff. What do you do Ilya? Oil change and... Or you check quality of the engine oil? Pad slap. <laughs> you measure? I will. Yeah, and Alex work on... G63. Here is the common, common issue. Uh, if you guys see the any leak from M157 uh, around the oil filter housing, this is plastic plug over there. You can see the plastic plug. And you can see the, a lot of coolant. I think some pipe leaking too, but mostly oil leak. You can see it's leak from this, from this, from this plastic. I don't know why the plastic, maybe this like a valve, high pressure valve release, I don't know, no idea, but it's always leaking. And of course, like like usually, all plastic from water line to turbos to cooling, turbochargers, it breaks. Well, here is the plan and also Finally, we got the new clutch from spec for Gallardo and probably tomorrow we start to do the clutch swap. I have something for you guys who watch our vlog. I give you small, <laughs> maybe help in the future, maybe some advice but Lamborghini it's not mean only it's like Lamborghini or any supercar uh, I think this advice help to somebody else and save money and time here is the the back story what happens with this car 
the car came and the car has the problem when you step on the brake the just like yeah like normally you drive in traffic like 30 40 miles per hour or any higher speed when you start slowly step on the brake it's not like a hard push slowly step on the brake it's going halfway down and car is still moving you not feel like car start braking if you harder do these things start stop or if you do second push you start catching the first of course we start think yeah it's actual the first actual problem master cylinder it's time to replace it's getting loose oh yeah but actually first we just bleed the whole system and still same we didn't see any bubble inside everything looks good ah and you just like when you, you when you step on a brake you not feel nothing just like like a no brake we flush brake system still same okay we decide to replace uh of course master cylinder we replace it bleed because we done many times bleed system still same what how is the possible okay we have a two-time issue with the two uh, race car one Porsche another one I forgot uh, ABS unit ABS unit and we decide to replace ABS unit because on that brake system nothing no any uh, brake distribution some valve nothing except ABS master cylinder line and brake calipers well ABS unit been replaced, system is bleeded, but still same. How is this possible? Okay. We start disconnect each brake caliper from starting from front and then jump to rear. What we did? We disconnect front, still same. We disconnect rear and when we disconnect the rear right, this side. See, problem is gone. Okay, 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 okay. Brake caliper, something going internal brake caliper. Oh, customer here, Ilya, go take care about customer. And, and uh, what we did after we replaced the brake caliper, we bleed the system, install everything back, still same. What? What? How is this possible? How is this possible? Okay, disconnect again brake caliper. Everything is good. I start thinking what is possible happens. Because like <laughs> it looks like we replace everything. I mean we bleed 15, 20 time. And actually I found a problem. I found a problem. Here is the problem. Here is the problem. Okay, you mean brake rotor? No brake? <sighs> the brake rotor is bended and I believe it's really hardly bended and when the car is moving you just uh, feel like yeah, the brake rotor do it like that and it's open brake pads. And this is why you have, when you step on a brake, you have just time to push the brake pads and catch the brake rotor. Now, we replace this guy. I took that car to test drive. And no issue, no issue. And this is first experience in my life when I see the brake rotor is causes of this issue first time but anyway guys it happens it happens <laughs> we replace a lot of things when we recognize the problem <laughs>